Ready? And action. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to Able Bits. Cut! Come look, come look, I'm so proud. I, I know I did this awesome. Look, 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 look. Well, did you even record anything? Yeah, I, I, I you pushed didn't the even, red button. You didn't even record anything. You told me to push the red button. We have to do this all over again. <laughs> you know what, Tanner, I'm, oh always, my. I'm always in front of the camera. I tried my Stay in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Russ, throw it to Tyler. Throw it to Fires on the run in the traffic. Touchdown. Oh, yes. Pete, Tyler put your mask on. Hello? Hey, hey Pete, it's Sherry with the NFL. How are you doing? Oh, hey Sherry, good. I'm calling because, you know, um, you remember that during the game you weren't wearing your mask. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Really sorry. Yeah, I know. It, it happens. I mean, you know, you just forget. But, you know, because you didn't do that, we're going to have to fine you $100,000 and the team an additional $250,000. Did, did I hear that correctly? Yeah. Uh, oh, so do you want to pay that via Venmo, Cash App? Cash, check. Put it on my credit card so that way I can rack up the miles. That's right. The NFL fined five coaches and five teams this weekend for a total of $1.75 million in fines during week two of the season. This is clearly a rule that the league takes seriously. Some coaches are choosing to wear face shields, some are choosing to wear neck sleeve face coverings, and some are choosing to wear nothing. What? You're telling me the players can sit on the sidelines without masks, but we have to wear them? Seems a little weird, and it seems like you're finding me too much. What do you guys think? Pete, Pete, wear a mask! Oh, God. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let the debates commence. Next Tuesday, September 29th, Biden and Trump will face off for the first time in Cleveland. They will be talking about the candidates' records, COVID-19, the Supreme Court, race, violence in our cities, and the economy, and the integrity of the election. All these topics were chosen by Fox News anchor Chris Wallace, which means that the Republicans could have an upper hand. Each topic will be discussed for 15 minutes, totaling 90 minutes for the entire debate. With everything that is going on, do you think that these topics are the best ones to discuss during the debate? Or do you think Joe Rogan should have just interviewed them for four hours long? Tanner, stop with the Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan! Stop with the Joe Rogan! Tanner, Tanner, you know you have something in your ear, right? Oh, these? Yeah. This is my new headphone, my new prototype headphone. Those are my headphones, why are they so small? Well, because they have this new technology called LC3. Okay, what, what's that? It's a new audio codec that can transmit audio at lower bit rates, which means it doesn't take as much battery power to play audio in our earbuds, so they can be super small, like this. But does the audio sound as good? Yeah. The old encoding was called SBC, but the new LC3 encoding sounds just as good at half the size. Apple already uses something similar with its own proprietary Bluetooth software. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Expect to see the tech featured in more products next year. It's really cool that like AirPods, earpods are gonna be so small. Can I listen? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh God, uh, where did it go? It's so small. Here, I'll look for it. We have to redo that, Tanner. Uh, we gotta redo oh, that. Oh, I found him. Okay. All right, let's redo it. All yeah. right, let's redo it. Can I listen? Yeah, yeah. God, what's that sound? I don't, I don't know. What's it sound like? It sounds like bowling. Oh, sorry. I was watching a video about Sarah Lines becoming the first person in her bowling club to bowl a no tap 300, which is a perfect score. Like, that's insane. And she is 96 years old and she turns 97 in two months. I can't even bowl it with bumpers. Sarah just proves to us that age is just a number and it all comes down to a positive mindset and that's impressive. Bumpers, no bumpers, I can't even score 50 points. So do you still bowl? Sarah is a freaking beast. I know, I hope I'm as cool as her when I'm that old. Did you hear about Mike? Mike who? Mike yeah. hey. Michael Bloomberg, billionaire and former mayor of New York, announced that he raised around $6 million so that nonviolent convicted felons in Florida can pay off fines and vote in the 2020 elections. Which has already helped 32,000 people, but there are around 775,000 people who still owe money from their convictions. Wait, 
a convicted felon can vote in the state of Florida? Well, yeah. In 2018, voters passed an amendment that made it possible for nonviolent felons to vote so long as they complete their sentences, including probation or parole, and pay off any outstanding fine. This will definitely be something to watch out for. Florida is typically a swing state during the elections. Thank you, Mike Bloomberg, I guess. Yeah, keep I mean, it fair. I mean, it makes sense. Nonviolent, you should be able to if you serve your time. Losing your spouse and your child on the same day is absolutely devastating, but can you imagine if you were a high-profile celebrity who had to worry about your privacy in time of mourning? That's the case when it comes to Vanessa Bryant and the deaths of Kobe and Gianna Bryant. Vanessa Bryant is suing the LA Sheriff due to horrific photos taken by officers responding to the scene that were leaked and shared. The suit alleges that Officers took out their personal cell phones and took pictures of the bodies of Bryant, his daughter, and the other victims of the February crash. Mrs. Bryant is seeking damages for negligence, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Should first responders be allowed to have their personal phones when they are responding to an incident? No. That's a good question, because maybe they need to get in contact with somebody, but like, maybe they shouldn't be focused on t talking to anybody else while they're on the case? Yeah, um, I mean, it's supposed to be private. I mean, they have their radios, so who they need to talk to, they're already connected, so they don't really need the personal phone in. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a great episode. We hope you enjoyed it. My name is Tanner, and I'm Sherry. We will see you guys on Friday. Don't forget, our shows run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure to tune in for the top news. All right, see you guys. Pete, wear your mask! Oh, Ooh. oh.